Hello, hello, welcome to Adapting Health. Um, today we're going to talk about the Klaxon Mini and give a bit of a review after about a year and a half of using it quite consistently. So it's quite a lightweight bit of kit. Just attaches to the front of the wheelchair in the same way that Klaxons do, in that there's a clamp first and then another on the attached to the wheelchair all of the time, which does affect the centre of gravity. So if you're used to doing little wheelies around town without any attachments, it will affect that. Um, so something to keep in mind, especially if you've got a lightweight chair like I have. Um, I've got the RQK sub 4. We're going on just a little poodle around the local area, just so you can see some, some of the terrain it can do. It can do, to be honest, most things. Um, if you're going up a particularly steep hill, I do need have do have to lean forward which would affect some people however this isn't the tetra model but it is suitable for someone who's only got the use of one hand like i have in because the thumb throttle and the brake can be put on one side rather than two sides which is quite convenient from an inconvenient point of view though the thumb throttle i have which is the 2022 model i think uh, so not that long ago and you can't as far as i know get them updated um it doesn't maintain the speed so you do have to constantly press and hold it which is absolutely fine but the i think the new model now does um have a constant speed type thing so if you're just walking with someone you can just kind of have it on like cruise control so I'd say one of the biggest drawbacks of the bike is how to transport it. So it does fold up quite nicely, so if you're getting on a plane for instance, it can fit in the cabin locker, providing they'll you know, let you, <laughs> but that's a whole other story, the airline stuff. But can it can do it a lot easier than the other uh, clip-on attachments. But the downside is um, not for the folding, just the general shape of it and whatnot is that it's really difficult to get in a car for me at least independently just because it's an awkward shape and there's not that many places to hang on to like it is possible but um, I am not a fan of doing it so from an overall standpoint I do really like the bike I think it's a good addition and the key benefits for me are the fact that you don't have to have wheelchair skills in that you don't have to constantly look at your terrain and evaluate and process all of the time uh, and it does do a bit of off-roading as well, in a second we'll go over on a field uh, it's quite dry so that's fine but um i wouldn't necessarily want to take it through the mud <laughs> um, it's great to have for me, better breaking down hills and a fairly reliable source of power unlike the smart drive where the Bluetooth connection just goes at any one point. Um, also compared to the smart drive it is generally better because you don't just have to think as much, you don't have to rely on the technology as much because that is the crux of the matter with the smart drive is that it just doesn't like to work sometimes when you need it. So that's a quick review of it in use. Um, I hope you enjoyed and thanks so much for watching. See you next week.